is finally official. Iron Maiden's The Future Past Tour will continue in 2024. But what will the boys bring with them on the road? And where else might Iron Maiden go to next year? Well, let's discuss. you missed it, last week Iron Maiden released a short teaser on their social media accounts in which they heavily hinted that next year they might visit Australia, New Zealand and Japan. You don't know where we're going next year, do you? Um, well, as it happens. And so roughly a week after that, they announced a tour in, well, surprise, surprise, Australia, New Zealand and Japan. It cannot be. Thus ending all of the fan speculations that Power Trip was the last show of the future Bass Tour. So yes, now it is official. Iron Maiden's The Future Pass Tour is set to continue in 2024. And as of right now, we'll restart on September 1st in Perth, Australia, then go on to New Zealand and continue with a four-date run in Japan. And if we take a look at the exact dates of that tour, we will see that despite their age and despite all of the health problems Nico McBrain has gone through this year, the band is once again going on a very intense run, performing almost every other day. And at one point we'll be playing four concerts in a week, which I guess is kind of ironic given Steve Harris just said something like this. I'll be happy to play four or five nights a week, but you can't do it for singers, you can't do it. No. You know, tough for Bruce back in the day, let alone now. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, the longest break they will take is only six days in between New Zealand and Japan dates. So there is a slight chance that they will be able to squeeze in one more show there, possibly even in the Philippines, who did not get to see them back in 2020. <laughs> What does that mean for the rest of the world? Well, first of all, it means that despite all the heavy speculations, Iron Maiden will not be performing at the 2024 Rock in Rio, which of course will be celebrating its 40th anniversary next year. By the way, let's actually go in order of things. 2024 will be a rather unusual year for all Iron Maiden fans. It will be a year when we will be able to see Iron Maiden, Steve Harris's British Lion, and Bruce Dickinson with his new solo and war The Mandrake Project on the road. Hello everybody in Brazil, South America, Mexico. And as of right now, Steve Harris's British Lion has a tour planned out for January and March of 2024. Bruce Dickinson will be keeping himself, Roy Z, and possibly Adrian Smith busy in April and May of 2024. And already has the first date announced in Europe at the Mystic Festival in Poland in the beginning of June next year. <laughs> Now we know that the Iron Maiden guys need roughly three weeks to prepare for a major tour, which I guess as of right now technically means that there is a slight chance that before hitting the road in Australia, Iron Maiden might do something in August next year, possibly somewhere in Europe. Nice. Yet in my opinion, it is actually quite unlikely, because first of all, I know for a fact that Bruce Dickinson does have other plans that were not announced yet. And secondly, well, in their teaser video, they specifically asked the question of where on to next, meaning that they will not just announce some random dates out of the major tour, but rather specifically talk about the next concerts Iron Maiden will be performing as a band together. Although after one of the shows in Germany, Bruce Dickinson specifically said that we might see them again sooner than we think. And that will also mean that Steve Harris will have to not perform in front of the audience for roughly half a year. And knowing his love and passion for music, I'm not even sure that that is physically possible. I, I, I mean, what else am I gonna do on a day off? You know what I mean? Still, I guess it is rather safe to say that the next shows Iron Maiden will perform will actually be in Australia. And we of course all have to congratulate the guys in Oceania and Japan who have been patiently awaiting for the return of Iron Maiden after their concerts in 2020 were cancelled back then. 
And I just wanted to point out guys that as a Ukrainian in Ukraine, I'm also waiting for one more concert that was sadly canceled to be announced once again. But today, cheers to you guys. But anyways, going back to the actual dates, if you take a look at them, it looks like the band is actually Russian to get through all the shows in three countries as fast as they possibly can, performing on a very tight schedule as if they are rushing to get somewhere else next. And so I guess given the fact that they specifically titled this thing the Future Past World Tour 2024, I think it is safe to assume that right after hitting Japan and despite the whole thing that they are missing Rock and Rio, Iron Maiden will finally take their the Future Past Tour on the road in South and North America. Especially since Bruce Dickinson did basically confirm that Iron Maiden will be visiting Brazil in 2024 and it would make a lot of sense to hit the Americas in October and November next year. prices these days are just ridiculously expensive, so I guess they might need to have a plane of some sort to travel across the world. What? Yes, this announcement pretty much confirmed that we might see Ad Force One once again next year, although it also raised a couple of questions, and specifically of who would be the pilot for the plane, since Bruce Dickinson is 65 years old, and as far as I know, he's no longer allowed to fly such planes. This is the first time I've seen this big boy! Whoa! And talking about surprises, in addition to the Air Force One announcement, we now of course get a new artwork for this leg of the tour. And running just a little bit ahead of myself here, I have to point out that I absolutely love it, possibly even more so than the previous one. Nice! So now, since Iron Maiden will be performing on the other side of the planet, we get to see the other sides of Eddie. Inverting the image so that now all of us who have minimal photo editing skills can actually figure out what a cyber caddy and a samurai eddy look like. And of course, just like with any Iron Maiden tour artwork, there might be a couple of hints and clues hidden in it about what Iron Maiden might play on their next leg of the Future Past tour, in addition to hugs and kisses that they thoughtfully sent to us all here. And here's the thing, in his latest interview, Bruce Dickinson specifically pointed out that the band will be taking the same The Future Past Tour show on the road with them and allowing the fans in other parts of the world to experience it in the same manner those who were lucky to do so this year did. So in a nutshell, I truly believe that the show in 2024 will be roughly the same as the one that we saw this year. At the same time, there might actually be slight setlist changes next year. And here's the thing, I don't actually intend to go into the details of that in this particular video, and not because I don't want to, but simply because I want to release a separate video regarding that. So for now, just once again point out to the tableau, which once again says Samurai 5 Cyborgs 5, the sigil on the banner next to Samurai Eddie, which has been used in the videos for Lost in Lost World and Time Machine, and the whole fact that their teaser for this tour was something that I felt like I've already seen before. Haven't we done this before? But anyways, what we also found out this week that all of this, including the previous and this upcoming lack of the Future Past tour, was something that the band has been planning for quite some time now. And even more, despite their age and despite anything, According to Bruce Dickinson, Iron Maiden already have plans as far as 2026, which we all know will be a year after this band will be hitting their 50th anniversary. And knowing how much they love their fans, I'm quite sure they will prepare something extraordinary for all of us to enjoy. <laughs> Now, please let us know what you personally think Iron Maiden have prepared for us in 2024 and whether you will see this band on the road if they are coming in a city next to you. Please let us know in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching the short video, guys, and we will prevail. Slava Ukraine!